Do you love pickles? I love pickles. Hi friends, welcome or welcome back. I'm MC, a knit and crochet designer from Connecticut, and you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Blame the Knots, or on my website, blamethenots.com, and of course right here on YouTube where you can get to know me a little bit better. Um, two things that I need to get into right off the top. Firstly, I changed some settings on my camera, and um, I don't know if it's going to work. I can't I'm really not good at looking at the viewfinder and telling how I like it until um, I get things like already wrapped up and I'm working on it on my computer and then messing with um, different settings in post-production. Um, so either things are going to look good or super, super warm. Um, right now things are looking pretty warm for me, but I think I might be able to fix it. And if not, then I'm sorry. Because I'm not re-recording this. This has to go um, online. It's just, this is going to be what it is. So if I'm orange the whole time, then, then that's what we're going to live with for this week. And we can all make fun of it and laugh at me later. <laughs> um, secondly, one bit of news before I jump into any projects. Um, just in case anyone leaves early and you're not sticking around till the end when I'm talking about it later, you can use the code ALOHA for 25% off um, anything and everything in my Ravelry store and on my website. The only thing it will not apply to is my Always June pattern, which is a charity pattern for um, Outright International. But uh, the code ALOHA will get you 25% off of anything else. You can use it as many times as you want through the end of August. Um, and everything that I make in August will be donated to relief efforts in Hawaii. Um, I'll go into a little bit more detail in case you're interested at the end. Um, but yeah. Just wanted to make sure if you couldn't stick around till the end that you knew that you can use the coupon code and um, all of the money that I make in August will be donated. So if you would like to help, I would very much appreciate it. All right, let's talk about what I'm wearing. This is another version of my Cherries on Top crop. And that will be releasing this Saturday, August 19th. Um, this is my second sample that I've made, and you might notice that you have not seen a version like this if you have been seeing any of my sample or the tester versions popping up on Instagram. So, I did a lot of fiddling around with this version and figuring out some new things that I wanted to try because this pattern is a made-to-measure pattern and there are a lot of different options. You can really get creative with a lot of different um, styles for the back, the straps, the front closure, whatever you like. So I wanted to see with this second sample if I could add anything else to the pattern. And what I decided to do was I made this version with Significant negative ease. I believe it is six inches, I'll, although I have not taken the final measurements of this one just yet. So I will update that if it is incorrect, and all the information will be posted on Instagram and in my Ravel Ravelry page as well. Um, also, I'm going to put in some pictures that I took of this um, to give you a better picture because I don't have room to stand up and turn around and show you the back of it right now. But what I did was a full decorative back panel with the cluster stitch. And um, I then just did no shaping for the at the underarm for the front. And what I decided to do was actually to seam up the front, which is one of the options, but what I did was leave a little keyhole section unseamed. But once I seamed it up, I then went around the top doing a single crochet to encase some elastic. 
around the top to make it stay nice and secure um, around my chest and it feels great. I feel like right now it's actually been relatively mild for the time of year here in Connecticut, but on the really, really hot dog days of summer, I feel like this is going to be perfect because um, no straps, basically entirely holy back. Um, it's gonna be great. Oh, also I did make this one more of a full length for me, um, whereas my original sample is much more cropped. This one does go all the way to the top of my pants, maybe even just a little bit over the top of my pants. Um, last thing that I have to say is that this is using Ken Yarn Fingering Weight in the color Gherkin. Um, do you love pickles? I love pickles. That's kind of why I had to buy this yarn because I love pickles and it's a fun color too. Last thing I will say about what I'm wearing is I showed these, I believe in the last um, episode that I did, but these are some earrings from Ba Humble and I love them. That's it. Okay, that is all I have for finished objects today. But that's okay. One thing done, one thing crossed off my list is good enough for me and I've been making really great progress on some other things. The first work in progress that I have is this skirt that I was working on in Lion Brand Kobu. Um, it doesn't look too, too different than it did last time, but it is a little bit longer. Um, this I haven't worked on a ton. I'm going to put it down because the needles keep clanking and driving me nuts. I haven't worked on this too much because I have been kind of trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with the length of the skirt. Um, some very smart people on Instagram said, hey, why don't you pause the skirt and work on the dress or one of the other items and then you can come back to the skirt and think about it. You don't have to make the decision right now, which um, I had never thought of that as an option. So that was kind of mind blowing. Uh, so yeah, I will be, I'm pausing on this for just a little bit. I think what I'm going to do, I was hemming and hawing for the dress. If I wanted to use yarn that I already had or get new yarn, but I think in my head, this dress has always been black and I think I am going to honor that and order some black yarn. So I will now need to wait for the black yarn to come in for the dress and then um, I will proceed with the skirt. The skirt is either going to continue getting longer and longer or I'm just going to do the hem, which will add about two inches to the length that it's at now. Um, yeah, that's it. There's not much to show. It's just a big blue blob at the moment. Next up, we need to talk quickly about a video that I posted last week. On Tuesday, I posted a video discussing my current WIP situation and my project plans for the month of August. I was feeling really overwhelmed with everything that I had started and uh, everything that I wanted to start. And so I sat down, I went through my WIP basket, I went through all the ideas that I was really eager to start, and I made a plan. And it's actually been going pretty well. Um, as you can see, my cherries on top prop is done. That was part of my plan. So that's now finished. I did finish some other things. Um, I'll do a whole video talking about the successes and potential failures uh, relating to my August project planning, but so far so good. Things have been going well. I've been getting a lot done and I'm really happy with all of my projects and the progress that I've been making. I feel really good about it. But the next project that I have to show might look familiar, but different. So this is the Shoreline Tank by uh, Brie of the Little Wolf Knits. And this yarn is Madeline Tosh. Uh, Tosh Merino Light in the color Pinata Pop. And right now my skeins or my cakes are kind of really falling apart, so they don't look that great. But 
you might remember that this yarn was once my friendship has lace borders top and I did decide to frog that. Um, nothing to do with the pattern. Uh, I still really want to make it. I think I just, I tend to get caught up in the excitement of everyone doing something together, which is great and I love it. But then I don't, I get so excited about doing it that I don't put the right thought into what I want to do. Like I've had the same thing happen with the Stephen West mystery knit alongs and stuff like that. I just get so excited to do it that I like grab whatever I have, whatever's closest. And I just like force the pattern and the yarn and myself to all work together. And then in the end, I'm not really enjoying it because I didn't take the time to make it what I wanted. So I really was enjoying the way that this yarn was working up in the Friendship Has Lace Borders, but just something about it, it just still wasn't right. It still wasn't exactly what I wanted. I just think I, I can do better with that top and it deserves better. So I was heading out to a happy hour for work and I had nothing to work on. This seems to be a theme with me lately. I've been like always finishing something the day before I have somewhere to go and I need now I need knitting. I don't have anything to take with me. So I panic cast on the shoreline tank and I had sent a message in the um, Little Wolf Knits discord group saying so how do you think I'm going to do with uh, not swatching if I just cast it on and see what happens? And we all decided that it would be fine because ribbing is super stretchy. And as you can see, this looks super tiny compared to me, but it's ribbing. So it'll stretch and it'll stretch just fine. And um, I like negative ease anyway. I still haven't tried it on. My gauge is way off from the pattern. Um, yeah, but you know what? I, I have faith. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And I am truly loving how this yarn is working up. I am not sure if this is going to be showing anywhere close to accurate for you. Um, right now it looks really, really off. So we'll see if I can fix it with editing, but yeah. It is super bright, super fun. And what I did is I have two skeins of this yarn. And basically there's a, a pattern to it. I don't remember what it is, but something like pink, purple, green, blue, yellow, right? So um, what I was doing is I wound one skein so that it went pink, purple, green, blue, yellow. And then the other one went yellow, blue, green, purple, pink. And so when I hold them together, instead of getting the, you know, the pinks and the purples and the greens and the blues all pooling together, they're opposite. And so it gives you a more marled effect. And I do have some areas where, you know, you can see like, Okay, there's a bunch of spots where the pinks ended up overlapping a little bit, but it, it just, it works. It's so cool together. I think it looks amazing. Um, I'm super excited to wear it. And now I am just ribbing, ribbing, ribbing forever. The top, <laughs> pretty much from the top to the underarms, I flew. I went so fast. It was just like d done immediately. I felt like I had just started and suddenly I was joining at the underarms. And then from here to here has taken me what feels like six years. Um, but I am, I'm almost, I'm getting there. I have a couple more inches to go and then the shaping at the bottom and it will be done. And I'm really excited to wear it. I really, really like it. And I'm, Finally, really happy with the decision that I made for this yarn. I was having a lot of trouble figuring it out. I had tried, 
I think this is the fourth project I tried using this yarn for and I finally found the right fit. So I am very happy. Last but not least, um, I have a new cast on slash maybe finished object slash almost finished object. I'll explain. In my project planning video, I mentioned something called Super Fluffy Sweater. <laughs> that was my code name for it. Um, because I had this yarn and I knew I wanted to do something super cozy with it. So I was, I don't know, it was just like nagging at me in the back of my head and I grabbed it and I cast on. Um, I cast on with no plan. I did a gauge swatch of like this big and then unraveled it and started going. Um, I had no plan, no plan at all. I got most of the way through the sweater and then decided maybe I should write this down just in case I ever want to use this information at some point in the future. So without further ado, this is my super fluffy sweater or the start of my super fluffy sweater. So this is using Bernat Pipsqueak. And that is a, uh, it's an acrylic yarn, or I believe polyester, and it is for baby things, basically. It is so soft. It's so soft and squishy and cozy and lovely. And I cast on, I did um, bottom up. I did, I don't know if you're gonna really even be able to see it. But there is a very subtle shaping um, at the bottom. So there's just a very slight scoop uh, curve for the front and the back. And um, it is drop sleeve. There's some neckline shaping, nothing too wild. What's cool about this is that it's so fluffy and um, you really like, can barely see where your stitches are. So this is just bound off. This is a regular bind off at the top and you cannot tell. It looks like the edge just rolls right over and you don't have to do anything special for um, a collar or anything like that. So I'm planning to put sleeves on it, but I tried it on the other day just to make sure that everything was fitting okay. And it looks pretty good without the sleeves. So I figured I'm going to pause and just take a couple pictures of it like this, just in case that's um, an option that anyone ever wants to make so that I can um, just show people what it looks like without sleeves and then I will be picking up and putting the sleeves on for myself because I know I want something really squishy and cozy for as we're heading into cooler weather because I hate being cold so so much um yeah I don't know I don't have plans for this I don't really know if this is going to be something that I publish um if you're interested let me know I will I mean, I have it written down. I'll happily share it. I don't even know what the ease is yet. I was aiming for eight inches of positive ease. I think I'm pretty close. Haven't been measuring. There's no way to tell what your gauge is on this, to be completely honest. Um, I cannot see the stitches whatsoever. So yeah, um, let me know. Let me know what you think. I will probably be posting some pictures of this on Instagram soon, um, or at least of the short sleeve version, and then I will be getting my sleeves going and hopefully have those done really soon. <sighs> so squishy and lovely. I hate winter, and I love summer, and I never want to let go of the warmth of summer, but this is really dang cozy. That is all I have to talk about for things that I've been working on. Um, I haven't been quite monogamous lately, but I've been working with a very low project count and I've been loving it. It's been working really, really well for me. I've been having like one thing that kind of requires me to do a little bit more than just stockinette 
Uh, and one thing that is just my like easy knitting stockinette stuff and it's been great. I love it. I've been making really good progress on stuff, getting a lot of things done. And yeah, I think it's going well. We'll see how long this sticks around because I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have a wave of getting inspired and casting on like 10 things at some point. I always go through peaks and valleys like that. All right, now on to life things and other non-yarn related stuff. Um, in terms of what I've been reading, I have nothing to talk about. Um, it's really disappointing. I've been really wanting to read lately and wanting to prioritize it and I just haven't. It's my own fault. Um, we've been doing a lot of stuff around the house. We've been um, pretty busy doing research to get ready for our trip coming up. Um, I've been doing just a lot of other, I've been involved in a lot of things lately. I've been listening to a couple podcasts that are great, um, but the subject matter is related to some stuff I have going on in my life, so, um, I don't really want to talk about it yet. So one day soon I will recommend the podcasts to you once I want to talk about what's going on. Um, everything's good, just... I'm not ready to announce things online when most people in my life don't even know what's going on. So, TBD. Coming soon. <laughs> um, moving on, I got a haircut. If you couldn't tell, my hair was driving me nuts. I have definitely just accepted that I will never have long, beautiful hair because I can't handle it. It was down to my shoulders and I was already like, Ugh get it off of me. Um, so yeah, I got that cut. I was um, planning to film with my fresh haircut straight from the salon when it looked really good last week, but um, some stuff happened, which we'll talk about in a second. But yeah, this is my nice new hair. Um, the first week in between last episode and this um I it's been two weeks and it's been weird to go two weeks I really want to stick to once a week um, because I don't like taking these breaks but the first week was lots of fun jam-packed with happy hour and there was a little wolf knits um zoom call there were two I think um whip and sips with knitting tipsy. So that was lots of fun. It was a lot of socializing and, um, but it was great. It was really good to hang out with people, see people. We visited my parents a little bit too. Um, lots, lots going on. So that was great. And then, um, last week I had wanted to film and, uh, the news about the fires in Hawaii was breaking uh, right when I was wanting to sit down and film, and I just uh, couldn't. Um, I have been traveling to Hawaii for my whole life, basically. Um, I think the first time I went there, I was a couple months old, so literally my whole life. And, um, particularly around Lahaina on Maui. And, um, it's a very important place to me and my family. And, um, we've made a lot of connections with a lot of people there and we love it. And, um, sorry, it's hard for me to, to figure out words <laughs> to talk about this, but it was a, a tough week. Um, we had several days of not knowing if people that we knew were okay, and I'm incredibly happy to say that everyone that we have personal connections with in Lahaina is safe. They have lost a lot, but they are alive and safe and um, I'm incredibly grateful for that because there are a lot of people and a lot of families that cannot say that. Um, 
So yeah, I have decided that I will be donating everything that I make in August to the um, Hawaii Community Foundation and the Maui United Way. Um, I have been sharing on Instagram and I created a highlight with um, links to everything, information about all of this stuff. If you want to make any donations on your own, if you want to just learn more about the organizations. Um, the Hawaii Community Foundation did post that there is paperwork that needs to be filled out if there are any businesses that would like to donate um, funds because of a fundraiser or anything like that. And I will be looking into that. Um, I just want to like, I want to say that here, make sure that everyone knows. I will make sure to be going through the right channels and doing this properly. I want, personally, I want to feel comfortable with where the money is going and know that it's going to the right place. And I want everyone who is donating via me to feel confident and comfortable with what is happening with their donations. So I will be making sure that um, I go through the proper channels, that everything is done properly, and I will be completely transparent about that and sharing on Instagram and um, making sure that everyone knows exactly what is going on. Um, like I said earlier in the video, you can use the code ALOHA for 25% off of anything. You can use it as many times as you want through the month of August. Um, the only thing it won't apply to is my always June pattern because that is, those proceeds are always donated to a different charity. Um, oh, I will also be, just like I do with my always June pattern, I will be absorbing any of the fees that are associated with the sales like Ravelry fees or um, the VAT or whatever, anything like that. Um, I will be absorbing all of that. So anything that you pay will be going to these charities and directly to the people in Maui that need it. Um, let's see, do I have anything else I need to say about that? Um, yeah, just thank you to everyone who reached out and who has supported already. Uh, I know that I am almost as far away from Maui as you can get and still be in the U.S., uh, over, all the way over here in Connecticut, but it is such a special place to me, and the loss of Lahaina is just absolutely devastating. I definitely, the, my decision, my immediate decision to donate funds and to have this coupon code through August is, w was just my like snap decision. I'm positive that I will have something continuing moving forward because this isn't something that's going to be over in a few days. Uh, this, these people and this community will need help for years to come. So um, setting that up was really a just immediate way for me to start doing something and I will be making a plan that is more concrete for moving forward. Um, yeah, thank you for listening to that whole thing about Maui. It's very important to me and um, I appreciate it and I appreciate everyone um, reaching out, sharing, donating, honestly, even just sharing or liking posts on Instagram can help because it gets them out to more people. Okay, I'm done now. To wrap things up on a slightly more lighthearted note, a couple of little channel updates for you. Um, last week, I posted two different videos. Um, that were not regular episodes because I was trying to fill in some space from taking a week off. And I posted a, um, August, August, that's not a word. 
I posted a Anne, Anne MC, you work with words. I think I'm going to leave all of that in. What is going on right now? Okay, we can do it. We're going to wrap this up. We can do it. I posted an August project planning video where I went through all of my whips and all of my design intentions. Uh, so you can check that out and you can follow me along on Instagram to see how that is progressing. And then on Friday last week, I posted a video going through my Ravelry queue. And so that was 10 projects or 10 patterns that I have been eyeing lately and that I'm really excited to cast on. That video was making me laugh a lot as I was editing it because I filmed it quite a while ago just to have some extra footage for whenever I needed to post a video. And so much has changed since then. I still love the patterns that are there. Uh, they're still, they are still the 10 patterns that I want on my queue, but I have, there were so many patterns that I said, this is going to be the next one I cast on, and clearly it hasn't been. So I got quite a good laugh at myself as I was editing that video, um, because I made a lot of promises that I did not keep. The last announcement is a reminder that the Cherries on Top crop will be releasing on Saturday, August 19th, and I would love to have you check it out. I'm going to be sharing my tester photos all throughout this week and a couple of different um, ideas. My testers have blown me away with their creativity. They have done things with this pattern that I never thought of, and I'm so excited to share all of their different versions. They look so good. Um, so yeah, just the the options that are available and especially the idea of letting people use their own creativity to make something that they love, just giving people a foundation and pointing them in the right direction and letting them create is so cool. And it's been so fun to watch all of the tester versions come out. So I'm so excited for that release. And also, yes, Everything from the Cherries on Top crop release will also be donated to Hawaii. Um, everything that I make in August does not matter, even if um, it's a new release. I'm really hoping that maybe we can get this to be my, my best release yet, because then it will all get donated, and that will be amazing. Um... Yeah, I think that's all that I have for today. I am about to go and film a whole bunch of really random little clips that I need for various videos I'm working on. I have like four different videos that are 95% done and I'm just missing like one little clip. So um, I'm going to film a whole bunch of those things and uh, they'll be inserted all over the place. So that'll be funny. One of those videos is my closet organization. It's finally coming. Um, I will not, will I? Will, won't I? I don't know. I will not have an episode next Friday. I will be doing the big reveal of my new closet and how I now store all of my handmade items. Um, it's not, it's not completely done yet, as you'll see in the video, but it's functional, and it's there, and I love it, and it's great, and I can't wait to share it with you. So, I will see you for another episode in two weeks again. I don't like this schedule, but it's going to be the way it is for the next two episodes, I think. But yeah, I will see you next week for Closets. And then the week after that for another episode so you can see what I've been working on. I think I might have two finished objects next time. We'll see. Until then, take care of you. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time. Bye. I'm MC. I don't know what I... Um, what am I? And you can find me on... 
wherever I am.